Hello everyone, Alan here. I'm going to do a combination of a dirty pour with a strainer flip cup. So we're going to give this a try and see what we uh, get for results. In the center cup, which is going to be uh, just a small, what is this, three ounce cup? One ounce cup. Uh, I'm going to put my uh, three base colors, which are going to go onto the strainer uh, for the center part of the uh, strainer uh, pour. So I'm going to use the Soho iridescent blue. Sorry. Then Deco Arts. Whispering Turquoise. Trying to use up some of these paints that we have here. And finally, I'm going to go with Creative Inspirations Pearlescence. So, this is another form of a strainer that's available in the dollar stores. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that over the cup. And then I'm going to take my canvas, which was already prepped with the white paint. And I'm going to put that, try to put that in the center. And what I'm going to do is around the outside of the strainer before uh, I lift it, I'm going to do a dirty pour. So I'm going to start off with got to remember to Spray my cup using the WD silicone. I'm going to start with the black in the bottom of the cup. And then I'm going to follow with Creative Inspirations Copper. Then I'm going to go with Creative Inspirations Lemon Yellow. Looks like mustard. Followed by Lucas Terracotta. And finishing it with Creative Inspirations Bright Red. And I'm going to do two sequences of that same, starting with the black with silicone. The Creative Inspirations Copper. And for a little variation, I'm going to take and use the blue over the copper. And with the lemon yellow. The Lucas Terracotta Red. And again with Creative Inspirations Bright Red. Finish off a little black in the center. And what I'm going to 
do is release the cup. And then I'm going to take this mixture, go right around the outside. Almost went a little too far. This went over the strainer edge. waiting for this paint in the center to go out through the strainer holes. Try to help it along a little. want the skins off that strainer. It's got a really neat design right through there. And I'm going to go ahead and finish with the remaining paint from the cup. try to give it a little help to get the paint out of the strainer. Now I'm going to try to just lift it a little to get a little more of this paint out. Stretch this a little. Kind of go corner to corner. And remember, I did have white base paint down to help the paint glide along the canvas. Just want to get it over the edge. two corners.
hoping to happen here is that uh, as the paint dries that uh, some of that iridescent blue in the center will pop out uh, through the white. I'm going to torch this. Somebody in one of my previous videos think, thought that I had a series going on strainer pours. Uh, just trying variations of it right now. But uh, I will be doing uh, other gadgets as uh, my mind wanders. Give this a torch. Is a little clean up underneath. Just give you a close up of this. It'd be interesting to see what happens as it dries, what happens with that blue in the center. But I see a couple different things in this right now, but I'll leave it to your imagination. Um, but this will be going to the drying rack. And I would just like to say thank you for watching and keep an eye out for uh, future videos that i'll be coming out with if you haven't subscribed before please hit the subscribe button below and if you're interested in joining the uh, uh, porage posse uh, please uh, go ahead and answer the questions down below and also uh, keep an eye on the uh, future videos coming out for my wife christina welch until next time, thank you.